This video is brought to you by the supporters on Patreon. Hey guys, I'm here with a review of a cosplay that I got from Mick Costumes. Yes, I tried that website again, and this time it's a lot better than last time. This was actually a good experience. No, this isn't sponsored. If you don't know some background of me buying from costumes, my first two costumes were sponsored and they were great. And then I went and I purchased a costume given it was during a Black Friday sale and it was awful. You can watch the videos on that. I'll link them down below. But despite the negative experience when I spent my own money on their costumes, I decided to try it again. And this time I got the 2B costume from a costume. This isn't the entire thing. This is just the bodysuit. I will go over all of the pieces in a second. So if I remember right, I believe this costume is about 80 bucks on their website. I bought it off of their eBay store and it was $68.99 there. So it was a little bit cheaper, which is why I opted to buy it off of their eBay store. I don't know the price difference. Maybe it's because it's on eBay. No idea. I know it's from a costume so it even has the tag saying so and i purchased a woman's medium so like i said earlier uh, this time i am overall really 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 happy with the costume i'm going to go over the pieces and show you some of the things that are kind of eh, so so about it and then tell you the things that i like about it yada yada so let's get started i don't have it in the original package as you could tell it came packaged like i figure most cosplay costumes do where it's in just bags and there's tissue papers in between pieces that can get stuck together like these um leg pieces boot covers stockings i don't know what to call them i'm really really happy with these these are a decent length i would say i think they might be a little bit too long just a teensy teensy bit on me but i'm really really short so figured that was going to happen it always happens there's no real way to avoid it but they're not like so long that i can't wear them or they don't look good they are resizable they have ties in the back so you can tighten them or loosen them and this material is stretchy this is as small as they go though for the size medium and they do have little loops at the bottom for your feet to go through so that they don't pull up overall really happy with these. I should also note that if you're like super super picky about details or if I want to be super super picky about details here in this video, this uh this bottom part on her socks is not aren't finished. They're not finished. They're just cut and left that way given this fabric doesn't really fray or anything, so it doesn't, you know, it's not like it's going to fall apart for not being hemmed and sewed down and the cut job on it is a teensy teensy bit sloppy like you could tell it was probably cut by hand by a pair of scissors because there's some jaggedy edges next up are stockings and these are just sheer black nylon stockings nothing fancy i'm pretty sure these are the same kind of stockings that you get whenever you order black like thigh highs and you see that they're kind of sheer and see-through and then you get these two bands and at first i wasn't sure which was which because she has a headband and then she has her blindfold and um I figured this is the headband though. This is the thicker material. It has the white stitching on it. And I figured that this is her blindfold one because the material is kind of sheer, but when you have it against your face, you can't really tell, but you can still see out of it. And on this, the only issues that I really had with this were that it does fray a bit. Like there's fraying on the inside and you can't really see that. So it doesn't matter. Like you can see it if you look really close, but every once in a while some loose, threads or, or strands of fabric come out through seam and you gotta cut those away. I just found something which means that I don't know what this is. Guys, I'm really confused. I feel like she doesn't, like she looks like she has something that kind of, is it under her skirt? Cause it looks like she has two little tails that pop out from under her skirt, but it didn't look like it was a full belt. So I think this is a belt. She has two little tails that pops out from like under the side of her skirt and i think that's what this is supposed to be so you tie it under the skirt and it peeks out not absolutely sure i thought this might have been the headband that she ties but then i looked and uh this had fallen off the hanger and i forgot about it because this happened when i first opened the package too as i thought this was the headband until i found this this is the headband which makes much more sense because it's an actual headband it's made out of the same fake 
suede material with some white stitching details and it doesn't feel like too tight on my head like it's really flexible and it's super comfy like it it's not tight but it's not like loose either i'm happy with these gloves it has the details on it i saw some costumes when i was searching for one to buy before i ended up just going with my costumes again i saw some of these that didn't have the details on the gloves like hers does but this one does like it didn't have this white detail basically they fit well which is a good thing because i have tiny hands they are stretchy so they can fit, you know, obviously larger hands. The sewing is a little sloppy. If you look really close from far away, it doesn't really make a difference. But if you look close here, and if my camera focuses, you can see that it's kind of jaggedy here and the stitching is like wavy. It does this weird thing where it goes whoop, whoop, whoop. Hopefully you'll be able to see this on camera. If not, I'll insert a photo. Now for the bodysuit. So this is the bodysuit. This is back. I like the material that they chose for the black. It's thick. It's kind of like a fake suede material. The sizing on this actually fits pretty true to size. Like it matches the measurements that were given for the sizing. For me, I still have to adjust it a little bit, but that's on my end because my measurements never fit, you know, store-bought measurements exactly. Also because this bottom is so stretchy, it does fit shorter body types like mine because it can stretch to fit longer body types, obviously, and it stays like this for smaller body types. I will say that this material, this white material, while it's super stretchy, it is um, thin and a bit sheer, so you gotta figure something out. The only thing that I don't like about this, but I didn't really see any bodysuits for sale that had this anyways, is that it doesn't have the design that hers has. Hers is like, her white part looks like it's a little bit higher, like here. It has some like weird, not weird, but it has some like silver design going on here in this area. And this doesn't have it. I didn't really see any that had it, so I'm just gonna have to add it myself. It has a zipper in the back, so it can, you know, you can get into it. And then it has a zipper up here on the shoulder that's pretty well hidden like you can't really see it it's a good sewing job there i was trying to figure out how to put the neck on it It took me a second to figure out where this zipper was so i like the positioning it's convenient it's a little bit weird to get into but it works it does have the design and the openings and the sheer fabric right here a little bit has to be trimmed off because there is some excess there is some excess here in the back too don't know if you can see that but like there's some extra netting just hanging down here there is feathers i'm pretty sure they are sewn in they don't flare out like hers do but i don't really think that there's a realistic way to get those to do that but there are a lot of feathers here like i like how many feathers they included it's it's full if that makes any sense i was a little worried that maybe it would be sparse and look empty or or bare there but it's not the one thing i will say that i really liked about their costume that was a little bit trickier to find was one that had the bodysuit and the skirt separate so that you can have her just bodysuit outfit or the full skirt and bodysuit outfit if you wanted. A lot of them came just as a dress, as one piece, and I didn't want that. So this is the skirt piece. The skirt piece fits really well. Like, it fits exactly how I want it to fit. I don't think I have to take it in or anything of the sort. It has the embroidery detailing and the, that detailing is like super super nice by the way so i'm i'm really happy with it there's no mistakes as far as i can tell it does have a slit on it as well i wish the slit was a little bit more open like this maybe but i mean it's fine maybe a little bit like this just to be a little bit more open I think if I want it to kind of flare out and stay open, I might just add some horsehair braid or something in here as well. And it doesn't have a lining in it, which is one of the, I guess, downsides of this skirt is I might, and I probably will go in and sew a lining because her skirt does have white on the inside, although it also has the same embroidery on the inside in black. That's a little tricky. Again, I like the material. And I think I'm pretty happy with the length, if I can remember right. Like, it sits, like, way up here on you. And I'm short, so it's still a teeny bit long, but it's not too, too long. If anything, I can just remove this band and then pull the skirt up a little bit and sew it back together. That's this costume. This time, I'm extremely happy with it. The price for what it was and what I got is pretty decent. I think I got my money's worth. The material that they chose for this was all really nice. Really happy with it. That's it.
All right, we're done with this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will have a link to the costume down below. I'll have a link to the one on their website and possibly to the eBay link that I bought from if it's still up because eBay links go up and down all the time. Uh, but it was from their eBay store. So I think if you search my costumes on eBay, you'll be able to find it. That's it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a lovely day. Bye.